So what we've already done is we've taken the cable and we've cable combed it out and there's a videotape on that and we've given gentle slopes all the way down to the, what's called the, the relay rack and the technician here is getting ready to do some punch downs. We'll just dress all of these in to size. Terminations are following 568B pattern. And that's something that's right on the patch panel itself. You'll notice there is a strengthening member separating the pairs inside, inside CAT6 cable, so we're trimming, trimming that off as well. The unique thing about CAT6 is that it has a tighter twist, a little harder to work with than uh, cat 5e so and another thing is you obviously you're going to see this is that you only untwist as much as you need you want to keep the twist as tight as possible to the punch down <clears throat> the other thing is i've already pre-numbered these cables where i want them to fall on the patch panel so that i can start from the back end over here and work my way filling up the patch panel this way. So I know which numbers are going where at this point. But it's not necessary to to number them. You actually can put them in in any order you want and then ID them at the jack, right? Yes. So why are you putting one in from one direction uh, rather than bring them all in from the center? Why are you bringing one in from the outside? Oh. I'm just going to make it uniform and dress them all in in this waterfall fashion. So they're going to be coming up into the spot that it's needed. So this next one's going to fall here and the one above that will fall right here. So we're just going to come into them all the way across just like that. And really the manner that you dress them in is up to you. I'm just going to keep everything uniform and everything clean. This one I'm just doing in that kind of waterfall fashion. I don't have a member back here to come and put something on and dress them, so I'm just going to keep them loose that way. Now we'll punch these two down. And of course that punch down tool has a 110 blade in it. One of the edges have a cut that pushes the cable in. The other end, so you can see the, the cutting end right there. So the cable is pushed in and then whatever is sticking out is, is cut off. Perfect trim. Now as Patrick's punching down some more, I wanted to show you some other things here. See how the relay racks are bolted to the floor and then at the top they're also bolted to the cross member. We have a ladder on top. The ladder is bolted to the wall using an L bracket that's specifically designed to be bolted to the wall and at the same time using J hooks that just grab the ladder rack where you can run your cable across. You can see where the cable is running across. Very nice and neat. Um, neatness counts in cabling. So if you saw our other video on the cable comb that actually takes these cables and puts them all in uh, a nice straight path, easy to uh, put together. Also notice that we use Velcro here. And the reason why you want to use Velcro is in the future, if you want to add another cable, if you use tie wraps, you're going to have to cut all the tie wraps where all you need to do on the Velcro is just undo it, add the cable, uh, Velcro it back. Velcro is easier on uh, the cable also because the tie wraps are thinner. So as you tighten down the tie wrap, uh, sometimes it can stress the cable out, squeeze it too tight, where it's kind of hard to do that with Velcro. Let's take a look at the front. And there's your J hooks right here that's holding the frame. Or we're going to have uh, equipment attached to these also, but in this case it's uh, the patch panel 48348 port 
hatch panel. Notice a nice sleeze with a stub out in the ceiling. Not only does the stub out have nice sleeves, but it also has that little bushing to protect the cables as you pull them through, that little white ring that goes around the, the four inch stub out. It's just stubbed out in the ceiling. It doesn't go anywhere. It just makes the cable nice and neat as it comes through the ceiling. Now, Patrick, how do you know which cable to punch down? Well, two ways. You can either just pre-number them or just pull them out of the stack kind of as they fall. So if you look back here, you see this cable right here is, I don't want to grab this cable over here and bring it in because it crosses everything. But from the back over here, you can take the next cable and bring it in close. And then as they come in, you can bring those cables in. I can always pull the Velcro off and adjust the cable if I need to pull one around. But it's not necessary to label each cable as it comes in because you can also, once everything's punched down, you can identify it from the jack itself. When you test out the jack, it will identify which port goes to which cable. Now, what's your comment on some customers' requests? Like you go into a room, they want jack one at the, at the beginning and they want to go clockwise throughout the whole suite. Do you have any comments on that? Well, they usually request that because it looks good on a floor plan and the numbering scheme on a floor plan looks good. But as soon as you add a new cable to that room, if you have 48 cables and that room has number one and two in it, then now you've just added cable number 49 right in the middle. So you're going to mess up the cabling scheme somewhere. But usually it's requested like that because they like to look at it real nice on a patch panel. But in reality, if you just cabled it as the cables flow and then identify where it's at on the patch panel on each jack, it goes, it's, it's half the labor that is involved. But not only is half the labor is involved because you're not tracing one cable at a time, that, that's kind of time consuming to mark the cables and then trace them as you, as you dress them in. But at the same time, it's just as easy. You go up to the jack, you look at the number on the jack, and then you go to the patch panel and you know exactly where it's at. Or you number them on the floor plan. So people know in this room there's a jack, you know, that's, that uh, is associated with port 22 on patch panel A. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward like that.